So there was a time where I think you took like, I don't know if you took it, did you do a part exit when you sold some to private equity? So we grew the business, yeah, up until about 2014, to about a 15 million pound business. Yeah. And then uh, we'd had interest for years really, probably for four or five years. Uh, but yeah, 2014, my yeah. business, my uh, founding partner, Mark, exited entirely. Ah, okay. Uh, and I stayed on. Part of the deal was, you know, it, I was still driving force yeah. of the business. Part of the deal was you know, I, took a, I took a good chunk off, about two thirds of my equity, but uh, retained about a third of my equity, okay. uh, which you know, still gave me a strong shell in the business, still made it feel like mine. Yeah. Uh, Did they leave you, leave you to it? Uh, <laughs> different, yeah. I guess it was different stages of that, Paul. Yeah. At the start, it was like just drowning in bureaucracy, yeah. which I never had any of that. Yeah. It just as a founder, yeah. I, I, I keep things really simple. Uh, even even the te- even the team that I manage, I just I believe in good people and then let them get on with it. I don't micromanage. I'm a I'm probably a bad manager. I think I'm a good founder, yeah. but not a great manager. Yeah. Uh, so the bit at the start, it was a bit yeah, it's a bit overburdened, a bit uh, interfered with. I guess I can understand why it's new, mm-hmm. it's an investment. Yeah. But then things settled down, and the last couple of years of that, we, you know, we yeah. grew the business, and yeah, it was like running my own business. It's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it just, it's just, it's just new learning. Yeah. Uh, yes, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. You know, and also for me, when we sold uh, and when I exited partially in, in 2014, it was it was a year when my first uh, first first child was born, my boy, and that was at the back of my mind. Do you know yeah. what I mean? A little bit was market's growing, but everything's on my shoulders here. I'm still knackered. I'm still. It's still all down to me, and that's still all my risk. So de-risking was a part of it. Yeah. I think de-risking, take a little bit off to be, to give comfort and security, I think, yeah. to my family. I think money and cash doesn't really, it really sounds really, doesn't mean that much to me. Mm-hmm. It meant a lot to my, I think, for my family. And it, may, it meant a lot to me that I could <clears throat> look after my wife and my children. Yeah. I think the fact we had my first boy, that probably played a good part in me yeah. de-risking, certainly, yeah. Did it make you feel, so when you banked that, fir- that first um, check, that first <clears throat> part exit, did it, was there uh, a moment of stress relief, anxiety relief, or did you think there would be and then you still had it afterwards? How was it? So I always thought when I was, you know, rolling PhD out and we were growing, yeah. and you know, we always we always planned to exit. I knew I would exit, and we. All, I always thought, do you know what? When I get that, when I sell, it'd be the best moment of my life. I'll sail off into the, in the yeah. sunset in a yacht, and then kids come along. Uh, biggest anticlimax of my life. Yeah, I kind of get. I kind of. You look at your bank balance and like, it's just more fear. It's more anxiety. Yeah. Because now you've got not business to manage and a family, got all this cash to manage. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous. Yeah. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds ungrateful. But it's just that's just the way it felt. It felt good that I could provide security for my family and that they'd never have to stress. I think it took some worry off my shoulders. I'm a I'm a worrier, I'm a natural worrier. I yeah. get it from my mum. So I'm a worrier and I get anxious about things and I'm and I'm a fearful, you know, fearful of not being successful and fearful of not having things. So I think it eased that, but it didn't change anything. Yeah. Really, really yeah. bizarre thing, and people think I'm mad. Uh, but no, it's anticlimactic. Really? <laughs> really anticlimactic. 